everyone. Thank you for joining us for our second annual Seagrass Day and it's Save Our Seagrass campaign. I'm with the Islands of Perdido Foundation and our second annual Seagrass Day is really important to us because it is vital that we educate the public, our visitors and our residents about the importance of these seagrass beds. I am here with Jeff Boyd, he's on the Orange Beach City Council, and he's going to read the resolution that was passed. Yeah. Thank you, Tracy. Uh -huh. It's a beautiful day. Protecting our seagrass beds are probably the most important thing to the estuary. From the City Councilman in Orange Beach, I'd like to read the Orange Beach Proclamation. Whereas the seagrass beds of Orange Beach, Alabama, support a healthy local ecosystem and economy, and whereas seagrass habitat is ranked number one in nursery value because they provide food and protection for juvenile fish and shellfish. And whereas seagrass beds are a sanctuary throughout the life cycle of marine animals providing vital feeding and breeding grounds. And whereas seagrass health is directly proportional to the health and status of many important commercial recreational seafood species. And whereas seagrass beds reduce the destructive impacts of storm surge and sea level rise, and whereas manatees, turtles, seahorses, shrimp, and many types of waterfowl feed on seagrass, and whereas local businesses and the economy depend on the health of the seagrass beds to be profitable, and whereas it is in everyone's interest to keep seagrass beds healthy, now therefore be it proclaimed by the Orange Beach City Council and Mayor that April 14, 2018 is Orange Beach Seagrass Day. Thank you. And I'd like to stop for a second and introduce our next speaker, Blakely Ellis. He is the Executive Director of CCA, the Coastal Conservation. And we'd like to welcome you, Blakely. Come on in. Uh, thank you, Jeff, um, and I appreciate the opportunity to speak to everybody today. Um, seagrass is a, a very, very important, but often overlooked uh, cog in the system that is this ecosystem, and this, the, the nature and everything that goes on under the water. Um, the Coastal Conservation Association has long been uh, supportive of efforts to protect protect these areas, to uh, prevent destructive uh, activities within them, be it shrimping or uh, boats and motors uh, tearing up the seagrass because it's so hard to gain it back once we do lose it. Uh, the Dolphin Island Sea Lab estimates that we've lost close to between 50 to 80 percent of our historical levels of seagrass along the Alabama Gulf Coast and I don't have to explain how how, how much that is, that, that's a lot. So what we do have left, we need to really work hard to, to try to protect and maintain and, and work to reestablish all that. Um, any any good fisherman uh, will tell you if they're not if you're not fishing near a grass bed or at least trying it uh, at some part throughout your day while you're targeting trout, speckled trout, uh, redfish, or flounder, you're doing it wrong because without a doubt it is a it's a go-to spot. Um, we spend a lot of time and money um, and effort, and we talk a lot about artificial reefs and artificial habitat, but seagrass beds they're natural habitat um, in the same way that artificial reefs you know, are, are the, the, the lifeblood of protection and, and ecosystems. Uh, the grass beds were there long before we started deploying artificial reefs, and we need to do, do, our, do our best to, to hold on to what we have. Um, uh, but it's, it's a, a, a great thing to protect. Um, I applaud the city and the Alabama Foundation and, and all their efforts and the Coastal, Alabama Coastal Foundation to, to raise the awareness of the issue. And um, we're happy to be here today and happy to help support those efforts to, to save our seagrass. Thank you. And good morning, I'm Valerie Longa. I'm the Outreach Coordinator with the Alabama Coastal Foundation. And we have the islands of Perdido behind us right now. The seagrass beds surround these beautiful islands of Orange Beach. And that's what we're here today to celebrate and to honor. And the Alabama Coastal Foundation is a proud partner with the Islands of Perdido Foundation. This is something that we're very passionate about. Like Blakely and the speakers before described about how vital this habitat is, that this is 
These are our cities of our ocean. This is where all different species come together at one point. This is where they have food, shelter, protection, where they're breeding and creating new life. And these are where all of our commercial and recreational fish come from. So it's critical to our economy and to our quality of life here. Seagrass has so many benefits that it provides. It cleans the water, it provides oxygen, it provides protection from storms. And today is a way for all of us in the community to become more aware and educate ourselves about the ecosystem that we have in our backyard and the things that we can do to protect it. So Alabama Coastal Foundation, we're all about improving and protecting Alabama's coastal environment through cooperation, education, and participation. And we are honored to partner with everyone that is represented here today and those that are not, like the Sea Lab and the Conservancy. But thank you especially to the Islands of Trinito Foundation for starting the Save Our Sea Rescue campaign and for having us be a part of it. And with that, I'll show off the t-shirt and then we'll um, get back to celebrating the day because we have a wonderful day.